Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's question is what type of the cross gives a phenotypic ratio of 3 to 3 to 1 and to 1 and uh, we can get such ratio when we have one parent so let's say this is parent 1 who is going to be heterozygous for one gene and heterozygous for the second gene so we have here only two genes gene A and gene B and in diploid organism we may have both uh, alleles for the gene A with the dominant or um, recessive or it can be different so we call this heterozygous so as you see parent 1 heterozygous for the gene A and heterozygous for the gene B now uh, let's do a cross with other parent so this is going to be parent whose genotype would be heterozygous for the gene A and homozygous recessive for the gene B. And what type of uh, gametes parent 1 can produce? Uh, for example, the first type would be capital A and capital B, capital A, capital B. Second variant can be capital A and small b, capital A and small b. The third variant can be small a and capital B, so small a and capital B. And the last variant would be small a and small b, so small a and small b. And as for the parent 2, parent 2 only can produce two variants of the gametes, capital A and small b. So let's put this genotype here on the top, capital a and small b and the second would be small a and small b small a and small b so now let's make a Punnett square so once again parent 1 can produce four variants of the gametes but uh, parent 2 only can produce Two variants of the gametes. So let's now list all the possible genotypes. So capital A, capital A here, capital B, small b here, capital A, capital A here, small b, small b here, capital A, small a here, capital B, small b here, capital A, small a here, and small b small b here. Now capital A small a here and capital B small b. Capital A small a here and small b small b here. Small a small a here capital B small b here and small a small a small b small b. Now let's assume that we crossed uh, two plants and for example first gene A uh, stand for one trait let's say uh, this is going to be a color so uh, in simple Mendelian genetics uh, genotype uh, which is homozygous dominant and heterozygous meaning the same trait uh, and let's say this is going to be red color so red and for example if it is going to be homozygous recessive, in this case, this would be green. And as for the second gene B, let's say that if it is going to be uh, of the dominant phenotype, so it can be homozygous dominant or heterozygous, then plant would be tall. And if it is going to be homozygous recessive, then it's going to be small. Now let's take a look what uh, phenotypes, uh, what ratios we have here. For example, uh, if we will take a look at the first uh, cell, we would find that this plant is going to be uh, going to be both uh, red and tall. And for example, we also would have red and tall. 
this genotype would produce this, the same phenotype. So as you see, uh, genotype is different, but phenotype would be the same. And also this genotype here also would produce plants that is going to be tall and would bear, say, red fruits. And now let's consider this uh, genotype here. This is going to be different phenotype. Uh, this plant would have red uh, fruits and would be short. And this genotype also would produce plants with uh, red fruits and which is going to be short. And uh, we also have another genotype that produces the same phenotype. Uh, plants with red fruits but uh, those plants that's going to be short. We also have one unique phenotype uh, where we would see green uh, green fruits and plant is going to be tall. And we also have one phenotype here which produce uh, green fruits and plant is going to be short. So as you see we have uh, one, so three blue, three red, one green, one yellow. So the ratio is three to three to one to one. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. Share this video with your classmates and see you in the next video. Goodbye.